Alright, we are back at it again with some more Hollow Knight. Once again, played on the classic setting. Should be finishing Deep Nest this time. Okay. Let's just go then. So, I believe I'm gonna go down that hole I saw to the left. Nice, too fair. I was gonna say this area is uh, kind of full of spiders. So don't mind me, I'm just gonna. I guess uh, some of these enemies, corpse creepers, which can climb on walls. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, just being paranoid of secrets. You can't go to the left here. Sure. Galleon? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Yeah, here's another warrior dream. Um, a bit obsessed about testing his strength, which is why he came to deepness. And it's weird. He, he like uh, can't recognize himself. He basically mentions, uh, he has a dead guy here. This guy's weak, but it's, it's him, so it's kind of strange. I guess the, uh, memories and conscience of the dead bugs just kind of gets faded or something. Anyway, lifeblood. And we get three, so. Convenient, it's right outside of this uh, warrior dream. Dream boss. I like to call them dream bosses. But um, Galleon is, because of Pantheon boss order, we'll be back for him. And actually, he'll auto mark because I have uh, basically the pins from a Zelda. Okay, now more spiders. I just want to go. Well, I'll be back for that other spider in a second. Another one up here. Yes. There we go. And this is anxiety inducing. Also, if you uh, look up and swing your nail, you don't like get knocked around. So, unfortunately, I can't get all the geo. It's like 20. You have gathering swarm middles. Pick it up for you though. Alright. Now I want to kill this other spider. Deep hunter. Not spider. Oh, there's another. Near some husks. Or a husk rather. I think that's it for this area.
I hope you don't have a fear of spiders because yeah, this place is very spider themed. You don't even start to see webs everywhere. Spiders, yeah. Uh, not the deep hunter. Okay. And spikes that give me anxiety. Anyway, coming back here. So now, if we take a look at the map, there was a doorway that went over here. So we're back to a fami somewhat familiar area. Uh, I do kind of want to pick up something that was left here. It's, uh, okay, now we can look at the Hunter's Journal entry for the Corpse Creeper. Yep. And the Hunter likes this one because you get to basically a double kill for killing these. Fair enough. Oh, I actually need to be up here. I don't think there's a way that... Okay, he just killed himself. I don't think there's a way to know uh, when those bugs are going to get up. Or at least if there is, I, I don't know it. Anyway, if you have crystal dash, use it here. Or a ledge. Nah, it's, a, it's a secret wall. Hmm, it's very dark in here. Also, your grub. Don't mind me. And another secret wall. Anyway, grub check. I guess you would have only gotten the grub if you uh, didn't notice the wall. Missed you. Yeah, it looks like you can dream now. That bug, that dead bug anyway. So you can't dream now. And looks like that guy is hallucinating again or something. Rather strange. Two more dead bugs. Ow. Hmm. Very strange. And the, the bug is gone. And I'm pretty sure it's a hallucination. So we can go down, we can also go across. A little secret. again hmm. anyway um, let's check out this other path ah more geo my face hmm okay I guess these guys are also hallucinating then What is interesting is this there's no music here. Danny's gone. Hm. Another dead bug. Hmm. Oh, he's running now. Hmm. No, 
I miss these dead bugs. Don't run. Brother? Hmm. Anyway, don't miss this. Here's a uh, shortcut. This basically takes you back to the grub. Another dead bug. There's a lot of dead bugs around here that doesn't build very well for us. Alright, we are going towards a boss fight, so if you need something you might want to turn back now because of what's going to happen. thing isn't running away now let's see mask don't mind me oh I don't okay so when he goes on the roof he drops these Asset piles that stay on the ground. Oops, that was a mistake. Also, this hitbox is kind of weird. I like to jump a little bit higher. So you can't jump, don't let him jump on you. Okay. Ooh, that was kind of bad. Maybe standing next to the edge there is a horrible idea because of it's a weird hitbox and also he has to go down to get you. Lifeblood, huh? Okay. That was pretty sloppy. Don't mind me. And yes, you can knock his head around. Or whatever this is supposed to be. Very amusing. Where was I? Ah, uh, yes. I don't know why. I find this really amusing. Anyway, yeah, he can see all the victims in the background. I don't think you can dream now, this can you? Oh, one minute. 
I'm about as professional as ever. As in... Alright, anyway. Uh, what was Nas guarding? Long passageway. Ooh, what's this? Hail or... I think this is what the nailsmith said he wanted. Looks like we can get another nail upgrade then. Hmm. Cool. I don't think there's anything else in here. Anyway. You can break your stuff. Quite whimsical. I should have used Crystal Dash. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's a coral encounter. I mentioned something about there being a village somewhere. And that is nice to see, like, not a spider or, like, Dirt Carver, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's where his dialogue repeats. Dream nail. Okay. Thinking about the village again. So let's go ahead and update the map. Yep, I'm gonna be heading this way towards the little mask on the map. This is a new enemy. It's kind of annoying to fight. And oh gosh, yeah, don't let it hit you. I think I was trying to show that. Um, so yep, two masks of damage. And yeah, if you hit it, it'll make it open up. Um, that's kind of strange. I thought it attacked instantly if you hit the face of it, but I guess not. Not sure. Come on. Yeah, the uh, spells are definitely a way of killing it. Or that, I guess. Yeah, this takes a while. Um, there's another way. There's a passageway up here. You can also sort of like weapon art to kill it. Anyway, I should show the journal off. Yep, Stalking Devout. And apparently that's not a mess, that's like its claws or something. It's using to like shield its face. Yeah, that's strange. Oh gosh, what's that? Like a spider. <laughs> Everything in here just looks like a spider. This is the little weaver. Oh yep, it doesn't fly around. It's technically gripping a web, I guess. Um, I mean, it's basically flying. And this is not a deep hunter. This is a deep ling. Lots of spiders. That's kind of mean. These enemies are kind of memorable because of the sound they make when they spawn. 
And when they die, I guess. So we can't go down. Oh, that's not cool. Yep. More weavers. More weavers. I'll show you a different strategy of killing these, I guess. Um, so it does require you have the weapon art, but basically what you can do is you can use uh, the Great Slash on them. Oh. If it cooperates. I think you have to, like, hug its face a little bit. Yep. You can sort of get a uh, hit in because, like, the Great Slash... I guess it lasts multiple frames. Oh, you can hear a blood sack somewhere. Okay. Yeah, there's just a devout down here. mistake oh right so mind the floor yep more breaking floors so just like in resting grounds actually I think it's very easy to go to deep nest before resting ground so resting grounds is more like deep nest yeah. Here we go, here's that blood sack. Yeah, you can get some soul from green nailing it. This is that wall I was hugging when I heard it. Okay. I don't wanna go all the way back around. Spikes. <laughs> My meat. Just using spells and more spikes. Ooh, devout. Let's, let's descending dark, shall we? Here, grub somewhere. There he is. However, right, there is. Yeah, there's something I want to get. Right, careful though. More floors that break. Another dreaming route. Oh yep, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> I guess we're gonna explore at the same time though, so it's not gonna be too bad. Oh, you can even go up. Huh. I mean, I, I can't really see on the map. Mm, about. I mean, your face. Is that grub? Is it a real grub? It is a real grub. Oh yes. And another devout. Ooh, that's very close. Whoa, what was that? Oh, we hit the secret wall. 
Uh, we'll be back here in just a minute. I just want to finish getting this uh, dreaming route. And I like left one in an annoying spot up here. Like underneath a platform. Yep, there it is. Before I forget it. Mm, okay. That was kind of mean. Let's go check out the tree then, shall we? Again, rather ominous. But we will need the essence for the moth, so... Sure. How about the uh, doorway I saw over here? Okay, what's up? No. This definitely wasn't it. I think it was a bit lower. There we go. spiders. Here we go. This doorway. Weaver's Den. Another subsection of Deep Nest. And I will say, just like uh, Isthmus Grove, this area does have some pretty unique art. There, you know, models and everything. You only see it here, basically. This is kind of mean. Okay. That's very mean. <laughs> Need to come a little bit closer, friend. There we go. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I forgot the spike floor there. Very mean. Fast collapsing uh, floors. I dropped straight onto spikes. Hmm. Like some threads in here. I guess that makes sense uh, since it's called Weaver's End, but. Hmm. There's a deep hunter crawling on this wall, so don't mind me. Make sure I won't be able to get that one. There we go. And dream now these two. Something about a princess and protection. Anyway. New charm, Weaver Song. Okay, this is one of the more well hidden secrets. What you do is you fire off a vengeful spirit or a shade cell in my case. And I think that's the only way to break a hidden wall here.
You can't use your nail on it. And this is going to be rather awkward. Let's see. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna kill myself on these spikes, actually. Okay. Don't have to worry about killing yourself on the spikes then. There's another one you can dream nail. Hmm. Looking about a bargain. Wait. That's a uh, 160 geo. There's a drop right there. Um, there's another secret wall in here, yes. Secrets on top of secrets. I think this is more of Easter egg than anything though. So, I'm sort of like, I don't know. Ethereal thing is what we'll uh, think of that as. Okay, let's not kill ourselves on spikes, shall we? Whoa. Okay, there's one that's alive somewhere. I'll try to dream nail one of these, but I have to do it basically when they're off screen, they move kind of quickly. Alright, let's continue on, shall we? So I forgot to check this place out, so this is gonna be kind of live. Uh, my practice run. Don't worry about it too much. Oh wow, this place is promising so far. <laughs> Spikes, little weavers, deep hunters. Little totem. Parkour. I have a feeling there's going to be a little weaver spawn, like, over here somewhere. No, just me and my incompetence. That's fine, too. Okay, that's kind of cool. You can, uh, cancel weapon arts with your spells. Or that you can cast spells even though you're charging a weapon art. Oh, yeah. That was a mistake. Make sure I shouldn't be caught lacking. Yep. Little weavers everywhere. Kinda reminds me um, of the Venge flies on the way to Joni's repose. It's fading from nothingness. We need to go on that wall there. to be able to do that. Oh gosh. No, stay away, please. And we get the Hunter's Journal entry for the Little Weaver. path? Get a foliage up there. Okay, now what do we have here? Hello. Hello, 
Alamato, el es el 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 Rather cryptic text. So I guess this is who made the mask for. Or rather, one of the things who made the mask for like every bug here. Hmm. Strange. I think it's talking about us. I'm not really sure. Any secrets? Oh. So, funny thing about the mask maker. Um, is it's wearing a mask? Uh, let's see. Yeah. I think you have to hit a bench, but you can see it cycle through like three different masks. Also, you can see its face. Allegedly. Oh, is it another mask? It says, anyway. I get rather cryptic. Some philosophy about wearing a mask or something. Hmm. You have a lot of dialogue. Dream now? Anyway. Juro? I think that's something that... Like a line that Quill... Uh, I like... Uh, like a phrase he says. Anyway, I'm getting out of here now. Be careful not to eat spikes on the way down, I guess. Oh, yep, here's a shortcut. Nice. And um, please, let me, let me go, please. So there's a little area I missed in my practice run, but we got it. Let's keep going then. Hmm. Okay. Thing in the background is rather ominous. Quite tanky for uh yeah, they are quite tanky. When L hits to the kill and yep, that's a that's a breaking floor. Nothing here. Except an orb weaver and a breaking floor. Some spikes. What's this? Oh, spikes. <laughs> I'm to be kind of careful though. Uh, oh. This is basically a shortcut. But you don't have to do the... Well, I guess I guess it's a little bit faster. Way of getting around. I'm down here. Don't deal with the orb, we do, orb we've respawns. And hey, another one of these, like, uh... 
Well, I'm not quite sure what it is. Kind of looks like the face of a devout, though. Stalking devout. Interesting. Anyway, this is kind of evil because normally the floors that look decrepit break. However, perfectly good floor with spikes underneath it. Ooh, distant village. Another sub area of deep nest. You can go in here. However, I want to. Um, and also go in here. I want to check out this, which is a stag station. Very nice. Unfortunately, the bench doesn't work here. That's that's kind of sad. Yep, the stag is here, and the stag is very jealous right now because... He doesn't like the fact that you're even carrying around a um, tram pass. And now we have the dialogue for this area. And he really doesn't like this place. Wants to get you out of here. However, we're not gonna leave yet. You know, check out these two places. It's like cocoons. Hmm. Hmm. It's rather weird. Looks like you have some NPCs. There's webs everywhere, but it's, for the most part, it looks like a normal place. Anyway. Wants us to sit down. Also wants us to sit down. <laughs> also wants us to sit down. Also wants us to sit down. <laughs> You get the point. One weird thing is you cannot dream nail any one of these. They don't have any dialogue. Um, I like benches, but uh, something feels kind of off about this. I got this one. Okay. Mm. Bunch of wrapped up bugs. You can dream nail these. They lied. Not friends. Okay. So, yeah, I'm assuming it's a good idea to not sit in the chair. <laughs> Unless we want to end up like one of those. You know, I didn't know the soul totem was here. Any more secrets? Huh. I, I've, I've never seen this soul totem here. Wow. Okay. Yep. Here's some water you can swim in. Back in deep nest, it seems. Or rather, the deep part of deep nest. Oh, please. Okay. So I'm just not realizing the uh, deep wings don't actually drop money. So there's a secret wall here. And you can dream that was dead bug. Okay, that's rather weird. 
and dream nail those though. Whoa. Dream nail this though. And it's aware that you're dream nailing it. <laughs> yeah, this is an NPC. This one's special though. This NPC is special because it can attack you. But before that, it mentioned, uh, actually, just go away, please. And yes, he will scare it off by attacking it. But he can't attack you, it will deal damage. Not a whole lot, but you know. Mentioned something about the sacrifice, some beast that dwells there in the village? Hmm, very strange. Uh, yes. Oh, that was that's kind of mean. So yep, there's a stalking devout here. Not missing anything on the left here, am I? Uh, no. Oh. Okay, that's not how that works then. If you have gathering swarm, you can actually still get the uh, geo that falls in the spikes. I just, I just don't have it. <laughs> okay, we're here. So this also takes you back to that shortcut wall. Okay. So I'm gonna take the stag station back to Dirtmouth now. We finally have an exit point out of Deep Nest. And yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna sit in that bench yet. I'm gonna sit in it yet. Why not? And now we can look at the full map of Deep Nest. Oh, mostly full. So yeah, looks like that mask is over in that place with the bench. Curious. So yeah, there is not a lot of benches in Deep Nest, just two. It's quite expensive and twisty and bending and yeah. Actually, I lied. There's not two uh, two benches in deepness. I guess, I, I guess the other areas aren't much better when it comes to benches. to go to Grubfather. Normally I do it at the start of the video, but uh... Actually, before I do that, there was a tree up here. I'm gonna hit this tree. Dreaming root. Oh wait. I should just use crystal dash. Whatever.
Oh gosh. <laughs> so much fail. Don't mind me. Oh hey. Where's flying tree? I do believe that is it. Let's see what the tree has to say about this. Yeah, I'm not sure what I was expecting. Rather ominous. Bunch of travelers, something about a vessel. Anyway, grab father. Lots of money. Look at it all. Oof. I'm not sure. Can you dream mail these two? Mm, I dream mail that one. Oh. It came to resting grounds because I have the essence. I believe it was over 200. The moth won it, so. Landed in. Rather weird that this moth can telepathically open doors. Then again, Dream Nell exists. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to bring that kind of logic <laughs> into the equation. Okay, uh, it wants us to give or to collect 300 essence. This dialogue is basically the same because um, there is a warrior grave nearby. Anyway, let's 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 go in here. What's what's this place? This is a sub sub area of resting grounds called Spirit's Glade. What is this? Yeah, this is Revic, and Revic is very dangerous. <laughs> so if you dream nail Revic, or if you dream nail any one of these. You'll aggro Revic, and you cannot kill Revic. Well, there's a specific conditions for you to be able to kill Revic, and uh, we're not going to be trying to do that. Anyway, all of these have dialogue. And there are a lot of them. Uh, I'm not going to be showing off all the dialogue. There's a bunch of cool designs in here too for the bugs. This one almost looks like Cornifer. Bro, heck. Are they ominous? Mm. That one has a lot of nails. Moth. That might not be a moth. I don't. I don't really know. Whoa! This looks like a dragonfly. This one looks kind of cool. I think this one's decaying if you listen to its dialogue. Yep. Molten. That one's huge. This one almost looks like a person for some reason. Yep. A lot of bugs. 
Oh, moth. Thistle wind. Explore. All right, cool. Another huge bug. Anyway, there's a secret here. And I want this uh, dreaming root. I think we got three in this single video so far. It's always good. And I guess that's there's a case of we're killing the bug. They're like dream nailing all of these so you don't have to listen to them spawn in every time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we all make choices. Just go down here. Oh, the camera doesn't adjust fast enough. Big sad. Okay, we've reached the match maximum uh, like pitch this will make. Yeah, so it only increases in pitch so much when you collect these uh, essence. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh, I actually need to be up there. I didn't mean to do that. Sounds like the dream dreaming root uh, has been satisfied. <laughs> Sounds wrong, but well, you know. Cryptic text. Right now, here's kind of a secret. Just follow this waterfall. Whoa, moss statues. I don't think you can dream of this game. No. Yep, you get a king's idol. So, one of the more lucrative things you can sell to Lim. And wow, we have kind of a stockpile of everything now. <laughs> oh. Oh, you splash. Okay. I did <laughs> I never realized. Okay. And if you do aggro revic, uh, revic just uh, run away. <laughs> You can stun it too, but it deals two masks of damage, so I want to get out of here. Okay. And she's very, er, he's very fast. It's a he. And all you have to do is to unaggro it is just leave and come back. So, yep, there he is. Okay, Spirit's Glade. I guess we can uh, view the map on that. Okay, now I want to go to this uh, warrior's grave this moth was talking about. And the reason I didn't go to it from the very beginning is because eh, it's a boss from the next pantheon again. Maybe I'm shooting myself in the foot by uh, trying to do everything in the rough order of like the pantheon, but well, we've started and I must finish now.
There's something about being doomed. Something about freedom? Something about... Not sure. <laughs> I was only sort of reading that. But yeah, basically he's a... If you read his tombstone, it says he's a traitor, so... The king had him killed or something. Anyway, this is a boss fight. He throws his nose at you. And they do come back, kind of like boomerangs. So, be mindful. And we're kind of cooked. With Shade Soul and uh, Shaman Stone. So, again, it's weird trying to follow Pantheon order. Uh, nail masses are very difficult. Oh, this is Zero, by the way. I'm not sure if I've mentioned his name. <laughs> Goodness. Wherever you go, I will be watching. I'm not sure if that's ominous or reassuring, but... I'm not really sure how to interpret defeating a warrior's dream. I'm not sure if you're really putting them to rest or what. You know, I have 300 essence already, so let's go to the moth. Well, the last few. There's something about penitence for old crimes. I'm not sure what this moth, moth has been up to. Now she wants us to collect 500 essence. Oh, and she gave us pale ore. Very good. Alright, making our way to the nailsmith now. Shade Soul kills that in one hit. Nice. Well, hey, shades on common. Shaman stone. Alright, let's upgrade our nails, shall we? I'm gonna need it if I keep doing things in Pantheon order. Or actually, you know, doing the Pantheons. Ah, Ronjo Stenja. So not only does he want pill ore, he also wants some of your geo, and this is not exactly cheap. Junsha. Garadel Akari. Okay. I can show you the, uh, the new nail now. The channel nail. Oh, yep, there's a channel cut in it now. And that makes it more stronger, I guess. However, we do have another pale ore, so let's see. Fendasu. He wants two pieces of pale ore now. Okay, I see. Anyway, um, this guy still dies in two hits. We haven't hit a break point with these enemies yet. Oh, and we get a entry for an enemy all the way at the top. Oh, that's great. Oh, here we go. Wandering husk. And then it doesn't like civilized bugs or something like that. Anyway, Vengeful Eye still dies in one hit. That breakpoint has already been hit. Ah, 
Uh, and I'm not trying this with uh, fragile strength or unbreakable strength. Just a uh, normal nail. Now what's cool now is that the sentries die in one great slash. Normally it takes one and then another nail hit to kill them. But, yep, our nail's stronger now. We need two more, or one more piece, pill ore. And he'll upgrade it again, which is interesting. Er, that's, that's, that'll be good. I'm gonna need it. Alright, I'm not gonna do it to you. So, uh, I haven't been putting marks down. I don't think there's a reason for me to. I guess we can check out the tramways now. We have a pass for them, so let me do it. Well, this is this one's pretty self-explanatory, but sure. Um, what are we gonna do next? I'll have to work that one out. But for now, I think that's a good place to stop. Did not make a dummy long video like the other time, so. Till next time, see you around.